Nigerians in Kigali, Rwanda, surrounding Mr. Victor Rubio. Food security and involvement of in and today we are very fortunate to have three global youth ambassadors uh, who are going to join us on the stage to have a bit of fire chat. Ladies and gentlemen, again, if your hands are not too busy, I will please welcome Honorable Peter Obi, former governor of Anambra State, Nigeria, and a youth champion. Please come to the stage, Mr. Obi. That is the energy. <laughs> Mr. Obi is a true youth champion, changing the narrative of agri food system in Africa. So, guys, hello, welcome back to this channel. Our very own Mr. Peter Obi, you know, the presidential candidate of uh, uh, Labour Party, was celebrated in Kenya as a youth ambassador. You can imagine Peter Obi, a youth ambassador in another country. You can imagine. Is a youth ambassador and these guys they were, as you can see in that video they were celebrating him peter obi was invited as a keynote speaker you know of a, a african food system forum which uh, was held in kenya you know it was held in kenya and the the african food system forum is the world's tenure uh, forum for agriculture bringing together uh, stakeholders in the agricultural landscape to take uh, practical actions and share lessons that will you know move African you know that will move African agriculture uh, forward now P2B and other keynote speakers talked on especially uh, the area of food production and food security you know he said so much about that and then um, he said things about food security and especially food production so i want you guys to um, listen to this video and listen to mr peter B's speech on the african food system forum i'll see you guys uh, at the end of the video what is the problem of africa the number one problem of africa is insecurity and food insecurity and food insecurity if properly tackled can drive the overall insecurity because you're talking about creating jobs in the food system being able to feed the people because hunger is one of things that are driving this and you can only do this by investing in the entrepreneurship of the youth which are aggressive i listened to the last speaker saying we have 60% of cultivated arable lands are in Africa yep. and we have youth population that are ready to drive this process. If I use my country, Nigeria, for example, where we have over 60% of the land uncultivated, living, just compare Nigeria in rice production alone, a country like Bangladesh with, that lives on 142,000 square kilometers of land, 48,000 square kilometers of land, can produce millions of tons of rice. Nigeria, living on six times that, 962,000 square kilometers, cannot even produce 10% of what they are producing. You could see the difference. So there's a lot the youth can do because we create jobs for them, at the same time, be able to feed the nation, help in export and everything. There's quite a lot that can do with the youth, but you need to invest in them. 
Very excellent. The government needs to support them. Very excellent, Mr. Obi. A round of applause for him, please. What I take away is that we need leadership commitments to facilitate youth inclusion. Mr. Hobi, if you are to change one thing, one party show, what will you change to change the agricultural sector? To invest in the energy, entrepreneurship, and innovative spirit of the young people who can drive this process by encouraging them to know that this is the next Excellent. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it all. A round of applause for my panelists as you take your seat. Thank you so much. So, guys, whenever you see Mr. P2B, whenever you see, you know, any discussion revolving around uh, youths, you know, you see Mr. P2B there. Whenever you see any discussion talking about transforming the leadership structure in Africa and also making the youth to be more productive in Africa, you will surely see Mr. Pito be there. You can see the passion in this man. You can see how this man is putting so much effort to ensure that you know the narratives is being changed in Africa. You know, these are the kind of persons we need at the helm of leadership in Africa. Not people that, you know, has not even taken part in any discussion or even, you know, uh, 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 they are not taking any discussion or move to, to you know, that is geared to uh, uh, moving or changing the narratives of Africa. In fact, talk more of the ones they are doing in this Nigeria said they're not, they're, they're not even, you know, Taking any any discussion on that, who will even invite them? What 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 can they offer? What can they offer? And that is the kind of people we have as leaders. You can imagine. People like Pete will be are the kind of people we need at the helm of you know leadership in Nigeria, in Africa. Pete will be's life has been you know, geared towards changing the narratives in Africa, especially things that you know has to do with leadership and um, you know you all know that uh, what Africa uh, lacks in is, is this leadership problem Africa lacks leadership problem and that is why it seems like Africa you know they are moving backwards because they are not utilizing they have God has blessed them with so much resources they have even human resources they have natural resources but they cannot utilize these resources and that is why it seems that you know like they are moving backwards every part of the world depends on africa for the supply of their natural resources yes they come to africa they take natural resources they go back to their country and process that thing that you know that they took from that african country and they will sell it back to the Nigerians. They will sell it back to Africa. And they will buy it. Africans will buy something that you know they are supposed to be producing. You can imagine. And all these things is is because of the kind of leaders we have in Africa. It's because it's because of the kind of leaders we have. We we, we, we you know I don't know. We just we just have oh, leaders that are not even qualified to be leaders in Africa. So guys, that is that we have come to the end of this video. Please, I want you guys to air views in the comment section on what you think about what Mr. Peter B said in this program that he went to Kenya and um, uh, how he was being celebrated and he's now the ambassador, the youth ambassador in Kenya. You know, sometimes I begin to think that you know, Mr. Peter B, uh, we have they have ripped off. They, in fact, they have ripped off of that man. I don't think we can even have that man back. To be our leader in Nigeria because of the kind of corruption we have in this Nigeria. Things have gone worse in Nigeria. That the time, the chance we had to, you know, have this man as our president, but things, 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 things went against it. In fact, they rigged everything. Corruption was too much. It was too much. So guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Please, if you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like, and also drop your comments below. I'll see you guys in my next video.